Well, John and I have both heard the comments over the years how meteorologists and our market analysts can still have a job when their forecasts or projections aren't always right. Well, it's a complaint that isn't going away in customer support this weekend. A question today, a common question, about the commodity market and advice. The question I have is how the experts miss the markets by so much. Sold my beans, got the most I ever had. The next week off to the races, the bean market shot up and kept on their way up. And that's from Aaron Charlson, I hope it's right, in Forest City, Iowa. Seems like I've heard this complaint a few times before. There are a couple of things to keep in mind. The first is our ability to fool ourselves into thinking what we would have done with better information. Suppose you hadn't sold at what seemed like a great price. How can you be sure you would have sold later at even higher prices? Our brains are wired and trained to assure us we would have sold at the top. But the reason markets keep going up is there are more buyers than sellers. During my career, I have constantly calculated how much money I needed just to survive and make a profit. After a few times of, uh, of experiences like yours, I realized that was the important number, not an imaginary price in the future much higher. My father frequently reminded me the secret to a long career in farming was to show up every spring. So my victories were matching that number or beating it a little bit, and doing better was worth celebrating. The second point is those darn market advisors. Personally, I'm reassured when market prices move in ways that surprise them. The old saying, if they can predict the prices, why don't they just make a fortune on their own instead of selling that priceless information, does have an element of truth in it. Truly free and open markets are, by definition, unpredictable, which means we can all reach conclusions about market factors for our own farms. The other prediction problem is if an advisor was even slightly more accurate than others, more people would follow her advice, which would make the market act exactly the opposite. Announcing the prices peaking, for example, would flood the market with sellers. Plus, years of experience have proven to me I will hear the advice, such as that, about 30 seconds late, which is like last week in market time. Selling a crop for the best price ever is a singular event. Not being able to enjoy that rare moment robs farm careers of joy and accomplishment. Thanks, John. Well, up next on a lighter and more upbeat note, Chickens for a cause. We're off to a fair in Wisconsin for a touching story next.